Theme of Grace Ministries, we preach none other things than those which the prophets and Moses said should come. That Christ should suffer and be the first to rise from the dead, and that remission of sin should be preached in his name unto all nations. You are welcome and we are glad you are here. Join us for today's Christocentric sermon. Oh, my message is titled, Certain Visitors. Certain Visitors. Certain Visitors. Abraham <laughs> Kuti uzankara na mwana, mwana oche edwa Isaac. Uzankara na mwana, mwana oche edwa Isaac. Uzankara na mwana, mwana oche edwa Isaac. Diponso, chifukocha kuti wanari wukota wa wantu. Siwa na zindikire kuti inkani ingateke. Diponso, Sara pamena anariri mukati katenti yake muja. Anaseka mumutima, sana anaseka kuti voice yuleke. Koma anango seka mumutima. And then, Ma angels wanafika, wanazi wakuti saa rashita kwanji, aseka. Then wafunza abra mkazu wako alikuti. Akamba tali umo. Then, chifukocha kuti saa rana seka. Anasowa mawe kuti, di uso sana na zamene murungu ala mkura. Takamba kuti, chaka cha chomwechi kuza. Tawyo mwe ino. We uzankara na mwana, mwamu muna. You are going to have a son. You are going to have a baby. So, awa walendu awa. Tika wakonka buino buino wa walendu wa. Mabwine duwe yao siya mankara ya buino kwa mbiri. Ndiye wajawarendo vena wana siya sodo meni gomora ili pa muriro, ili pa moto inyeka. Kamba, kama mabwine duwe yao, most of the time these visitors, they don't come in peace. Be careful the way you conduct your prayers to God. Because most of you guys have seen you calling no... Mungero aseruka buirepa no, eh mungero aseruka buirepa. I want to tell you that those are messengers of God, and therefore they carry a certain glory with them. These people, when they pay a visit to you, you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful. You need to be very careful because they are coming. It is not always sometimes good, and especially with this physical body that we have. Because this physical body that we have, hey, when you come in contact or close with, with those people, hey, you begin to shiver, to tremble, you begin to suffer as if, I don't know the way I can put it, but hey, be careful the way you conduct your prayers. Angero aseruka bwere, angero aseruka bwere. I want to read, I think I have just a few scriptures I shared. This is going to be a short sharing this morning. Uh, I want to read a few verses for you so that you understand how these people... I'm not saying they come to kill. No. Unless if they have such a mission from God to come and kill. But now when they come, they always bring good news. But now the problem is your physical body and these people. Your physical body and these angels. First of all, I want to, to show you that whenever an angel descended from above to bring this message, an angel never descended to bring the message, the message that was not recorded in the book of life. No. Ukaona mungero anatumi dwakuza pazikora pansi. Kureta utenga. Ah, parichamene chichitika. Parichamene chichitika maningi cha. Why ni kamba so? That's why it is a book ya Luke chapter 24, 45, 46. Book ya Isaiah 28, 9, 8 and 9 verses. Let me read these verses I'm talking about here. I want to show you something, people. Uh, bear with me. Okay, now I am reading 
verse 44. I got these scriptures from the word of God. But now, before I proceed sharing this message, I want you to understand that there are key scriptures in the Bible that guides you on how you should do. Share or interpret your message to people. Now, verse 44 says, And he said unto them, These are the things which I speak unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses. So, one of the scriptures that I'm going to read is coming from the book of Judges, chapter 13. I want to show you these visitors, when they come, what they do. So, now, listen carefully. And he said, and this, is, this was Jesus teaching, telling his disciples. And he said unto them, these are the words which I speak unto you. Wow! I was yet with you. That all things, not vinango, vasara vinango, all things must be fulfilled. Where are these things? Which were written in the law of Moses. Meaning all four books or five books of Moses. And in the prophets, meaning all the prophets. And in the Psalms, meaning all the books of Psalms. David, concerning me. These people were writing about Jesus Christ. These people were writing about who? Jesus Christ. I want you to understand very carefully and very careful because this is the word of God. The word of God gives life when you understand the word of God properly. Now, and then, we had the people who were also reading the same Bible, the Old Testament church. Now listen. Verse 45 it says, Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. If Jesus does not open your understanding, you can read the whole Bible 20 times, 1,000 times. You will never understand, not even a speck of any interpretation from this word. Why? Because you need Jesus to open your understanding for you to understand what is about him. If he does not open your understanding, get me right, you read the Bible several times, but you will never understand. Why? You need a golden key from him to open up your understanding, your mind, so that when you read, you are able to understand what is happening or what Jesus or the Holy Spirit is trying to teach you about that word you are reading. Many people open the Bible and read to the people. Unfortunately, what they come out with is different. They don't come out with Jesus. They come out with some of you tithes, some of you child dedication, some of you, you come out with a uh, soy seed, some of you come out with prosperity gospel, you will be rich, he died so that you can become rich, some of you, you come out different things, even the magicians today, they read the Bible. But now the Bible is about eternal life. The Bible is about eternal life. The Bible is about spiritual matters, spiritual beings. Listen to me carefully. Then he opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Verse 46, And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead. The third day. I'm just trying to lay a ground. I said I have a short sharing today. So now, Whatever is written in the book of life, it is about Jesus Christ. This is what the word of God is telling me now and telling you. Verse 8 and 9 of Isaiah 28, what does it say? I mentioned it when I was trying to give uh, 
a simple explanation from what I want to share today. Verse 20, chapter 28, verse 8. Verse 8 says, For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. I'm not basing my teaching from this. This is another teaching. I'm starting from verse 9. Verse 9, God is asking now, why I have I, I told you from the first explanation that he, I want to teach Jesus to you people from the visits of these angels. And I titled my message Certain Visitors. Now listen, verse 9, God is asking, Who shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the mute and drawn from the breast. If you are still sucking, please, if you are still being breastfed by your mom, don't waste your time to sit down and listen to the word that I teach. Because these are bones. I need the people who have grown, people who are weaned from their mother's milk. Then they will understand the gospel. Am I talking about the babies that are still sucking? No. That's why Matthew 434 says he never used a plain language in public. He used the stammering lips to teach in public. And then after that, he could expound, explain, teaching the details of the message to his disciples. Why? Because the gospel is not for everyone. Now listen, there are people who have gray hair, white beards. <coughs> Today, according to the scripture, they are still sucking from their mother's milk. That is what the Bible is saying. They are still sucking from their mother's breast. Now, God is asking, who, to whom shall he teach knowledge? To whom shall he teach to understand the doctrine? To those that are weaned from their mother's breast. Wow, this is nice. So if you see your pastor is still interested in collecting title from you, that person is still sucking, is a baby. If you see your pastor telling you, say, oh, you have a new baby, come, come with two brown envelopes so that we can dedicate your child, please, that person is still sucking. If you see a pastor who says, no, because there is a COVID at a church, please deposit your tithe on mobile money, Airtel or MTN. That pastor is still sucking. Run away from such people. The, here God is asking, to whom shall he teach knowledge? Eh? And whom shall he make to understand the doctrine? Them that are weaned from the meal and drawn from the breast. Verse 10, listen what it says. For precepts must be upon precepts, precepts upon precepts, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little and there a little. It means we have a New Testament church and the Old Testament church. When you take a block of Old Testament church, the way it is written without breaking it down, hey, you are still sucking your mom's simeon. Be careful. Don't open the Bible and share the word. Why? Because you are killing a lot of people. You are killing a lot of people. A doctor, I recommend a doctor is doing a good job. A physical medical doctor. Because he treats the body that decays. Now you as a pastor, you as a gospel carrier, remember, your goal is to make sure that the inner man receives eternity. So when you destroy people, when you destroy the inner man, wow, this is a change we are talking about. Now listen carefully. Um, um, uh, verse 11, it also says, For with his stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to these people. It means the Bible is written in parables. Which means it needs people who are sent to go and interpret and demystify these mysteries to people so they could understand so they can understand properly and have eternal life. Remember John 17, verse 3. This is life eternal that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you saved. It means when you have a 
proper understanding of God, eternity is certain. When you have accurate knowledge of God, eternity is certain. Now I want to read Judges. Let's see the way these visitors came. I am opening the book. This is Judges chapter 13. To those that like reading the word of God, I'm talking about Samson, the way Samson came into existence. Okay? Okay, I am here. Let me start from the uh, from verse five. It's a nice scripture. It's a nice uh, chapter. A nice story to share. Listen, verse thirty, verse uh, verse five. For lo, thou shalt conceive. This ah, let me start from one. This is when the angel came to pay a visit to Manoah's wife. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines. Forty years. Just think about it. Forty years. Forty years. Because they did evil in the sight of the Lord. And there was a certain man of Zora, of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. Wakakufunza funza wakuti watateva ke, Samson means Vandani Zina, nukambati Vandani? Manoah. That's the father of Samson. And his wife was barren and bare not. Mkazi wake Manoah sana liku bereka. Mchichewa wakamba buwanji, mtu wamele sapa. Okay, it's nice. Let's continue, guys. Interesting story. Right? And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. I want to present represent Jesus Christ why? Because Jesus Christ Just know that something is happening here. But or a type of Christ here. Then the angel came, the angel descended to this woman and said, Iwamene super. Iwamene ukaribekubara wakota. I want to tell you that you are going to have a son. Now listen. Verse 4. Now therefore, beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine, nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean things. Osa mwatu jirijiri. Osa mwatu siminof. Osa mwatu kachasu. Osa mwavinyo osa asa. Ah, because uzankara na mwana wa mwamuna. Osa mwa mkwazi. Ah ah. Osa mwa mkosi. Please, na kupapani. Usaka mwa vintuvo mwe virura. Na angukudia chini chamine sichiri clean. Because you are going to have what? A son. Now, verse 5. For Lord, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. Uyu mwana agabado osaka kukire kukwa. Nisaka one seizes Oro bote oro oro res Kuti ukave Sisiza mwana So now Verse 7 But he said After getting this information from the wife But he said unto me Behold thou shalt conceive And bear a son And now drink no wine No strong drink Neither eat any unclean thing for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. Are you getting that? Then Manoah 
entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send come again unto us and teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. Manoa, I like this statement. Manoa, kamba kuti murungu wanga, mungera uja wamele mwatu makuli mkazi wanga uja. Muze na abwele foot, abwele manja atipunse, mwamele tisa sungira mwana uyaza badu wawo. Ok, now listen, inesini wana munga manoa enzo, funi sama nigi mwana enzo, funu wana mungera wamele uja. Mwye wana kwanji mwikani. Enzo, funu wana mungera wamele uja mga izi. And God hearkened to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again, and the woman, as she sat in the field, in the field, but Manoah, her husband, was not with her. Wow. Abwera foot. But Manoah, sana riko kumunda. And the woman made haste and ran and showed her husband and said unto him, Behold, the man has appeared unto me that he came unto me the other day. And Manoah arose and went after his wife and came to the man and said unto him, So you, Mungero, anari kuwa embekezera, wali kwa mene kumunda ukuwafika, awa embekeza. Art thou the man that is, uh, speakest unto the woman, and he said, I am. Kutintiwo mwamuna unana mkurana mkazi wanga last time. Then the angel said, yes, I am. Verse 12. And Manoah said, now let thy words come to pass. Unakamba wati zankara na mwana mwamuna. Ndiye mao ya mene nifuni sisaya. Mwa mene mwuma kwa mkama prophets. Wana wadeza. Wavara tuma don't touch my shoes. Wavara tufupi. Waka kuuza oti tomorrow I'm seeing you driving a BMW. Wauza oti maero ingati sini iwona. Nibwela kukona pa nyumba pa. So that kunukurari kila boza wa itebuanji. Mareke. Shua wakuuza kuti this year is your year. Year. Another year. Another year. Sunga wako ngoti mwabusa. Ya jamao ya mene muna kamba ya jade. Na manji siya chitika. How far? Bazu urizi. Vera mau ya mano. Leka mau yomwe unakamba ya shtebanji. Ya kwa nini siki? How shall then after that? And Manoah said, now let thy words come to pass. How shall we order the child and how shall we do unto him? Afunsa na ufunsa mwana akalibe kufika. Mau ya kwa nini siki? Then utiuzo ti mwana wakena tizamusu nga buwanji. And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware. She may not eat of anything that come of the vine. Neither let her drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. All that I commanded her, let her observe. Instruction is given. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, I pray thee, let us detain thee. Until we shall have made ready a kid for thee. Ah, this is a very big mystery. It's a bond. It needs people who are weaned from their mother's breast. Manoa kaba uti iwe, iwe, iwe sindu we mundu chabe. This time around, we are going to ask that you remain here a little bit. Now see what is happening here. Depe wona uti Manoa prayed a role of a priest. Mukazi sana viganize hivi. Why? Because mukazi ni church. Hai? Very good. But Manoa after hearing all this from the angel, then Manoa said, Bambo, simu yenda. Kuja kwa mene muma yenda kuja, simu za yenda. Embeke zani, ni koze kankosa, ni kese kankosa, kuti ni kuwambire ni koni. Mudi ya mkasiriza kudia, then you can go. Manoa is preparing a meal for the angel. To eat. Now, let's see if the angel ate this meal. Ndiye pa mbukete na nkani za upris na mkate uwa mbila voku ya. And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, Though thou detain me, I will not eat of thy bread. 
And if thou wilt offer a bent offering, thou must offer it unto the Lord. For Manoah knew not that he was an angel of the Lord. Are you getting that? Manoah didn't know this was the angel of the Lord. But he started preparing a meal which is supposed to be prepared for God. And then the angel said, prepare that meal for God. For I will not eat that meal. Let's see what happens here. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name? point <laughs> So I know that you must have church in Mono, the more Darisi. Then you want to appoint a man, they have received a greeting from an angel. Listen, Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name? That when thy sayings come to pass, we may do thee honor. Manoah, Afna Pembeza Mungero. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why askest thou? That's after my name. Why only funsa zina ranga? Ona munga mungero ni muntu munga yu wapu te afuna kufunsu wa zina. Mungero afunsa manoa, 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 na kupapata. Iye wa yamba isi amen. Manoa, why ufuna zina ranga? And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why ask thou thus after my name? Sing it is a secret. So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did wondrously. Guys, see what happened here. See what happened here. Manoah anatenga kambuzi. Noenda pa chimuara. Guys, we did chimuara pa muara sermon. What does a stone represent when you are sharing the gospel? Mwara uta represent ja? Mwara. Hey. Mwara ukamba chani mau amuru. Na uona mwara ose medwa opanda banga. Na uona mwara ose medwa opanda banga. Mwara uta nita uza chani pa mau amuru. Ha. Chimwara chomwe china kanidwa pa festi ndi chomwe china tengewa kukara kona the chief cornerstone kasi mwara utanta uza yesu wa mene so anatenga nkosa na kupereka pa mwara na kuza kesa mwara na kuza kesa nkosa pa mwara so manoa took a kid with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto the lord and the angel did wonder a city ata paya ka nkosa pa mwara pa mene paja mae vea na chita mungero manji it is titled, it is titled a certain visitors. And Manoah and his wife looked on. Eh? For it came to pass when the frame went up towards heaven from off the altar that the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar and Manoah and his wife looked on it and fell on their face on, the, on their faces to the ground choose what happened to Manoah and his wife why Manoah or Angana Pansi Mutuans or Fusat into Endan is not our call? Listen now. But the angel of the Lord did not did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife. Then Manoah knew that he was an angel of the Lord. Manoah and Ezra Pamenepa to Nimungero Amurubu. And Manoah said unto his wife, We shall surely die. Chinan is at Manoah, can not him Kazuanga, Panotikuf and Jan. Hey, you people are listening to my sermon, right? 
Chini ya ngeza kutima noa wazi mkazi waka wati mm -mm, Pano tikufa ni chani Fear hai Exactly Fear The way The angel ascended in the frame from the outer Ah This was a miracle Something Manoa never saw in his life Why? Because tina dabu isa kutimu ntuka mbisa na naya hapa Ushoka chapenya ama hapa Adisa anke na mchusi na kuyendela kumozi na chusi kumuamu Then he kwenza kukwana pansi wa Manoa na mkazi wao Ah, pomanje wa Manoa waka mba kuli wife Wife Uyu mungero ato wako imu rungu Iwe na ine tikufu Na otetu mbele mkaza haka mba chani Manoa And Manoa said unto his wife We shall surely die because we have seen God Why did Manoa say this? Because in the scripture it is written When you see God with these eyes You die Because this physical body Can't see what? God And then what was the response from the wife? Watonga wakamba tingu nungu nungu wabidi. At least mupasa na kwa zero rumuli wabidi. But his wife said unto him, If the Lord were pleased to kill us, he would not have received a bent offering and meat offering at our hands. Neither would he have showed us all these things, nor would us at this time have told us such things as this. And the woman bear a son and called his name Samson. So, who started the preaching to the other between the two? The woman started the preaching. The husband is in fear. My wife, we are dying. We have seen God war with our naked eyes. Then the wife is saying, no, we are not going to die. Inga tibungwezo of not fire. Hey, sembe sana tuoni se fosi vamirita oone. Inga tibungwezo of not fire. Sembe sana pokerere our bent offering. Cho pere kachanze ni. But ya poke na zonzi no tuza tizankara na mwana. So we will not die. We will see a son from our womb. If it was you, would you pray such a prayer inviting an angel to come and pay a visit to you? Manoa, haiti kamonga afu. Kansi kumpera kwa samisoni, ni kubadwa kwa Yesu Christu. Because these children of Israel were delivered under the hands of Philistines. Why? Because they did evil in the sight of the Lord. I'm going to read the last verse. Look. Look chapter 1. And when Zachariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zachariah, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and men shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Same instruction, Yakuri Samson, same instruction, Ipaswa Zechariah, Pari Baduakamanuabuera. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God, and he shall go forth before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord wow okay so now and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias this was the coming of John the Baptist, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Verse 18. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Mungero <laughs> Agona pansi. 
Mbaka mzimai kuyamba kutoa radiki la kuti haa. Ah, amdara ukano ya mtu sali kwa henda. Ngadienzo wafuna watipaya. Sembe sana tretele message ya abuela nae. Meao Zakaria nae. Ari mutempo. Wantu wachoka wakombo kama henda panja. Wanda buache Zakaria sacho kama mutempo kukwira panja. <laughs> Wana wamurungu awangera awakafika. Ni wabuino. Futi si wantu wabuino haa. Mweti li limuno so. O oh, semo service ya sila chenti komboki. Mwachoka choka panya na sara mwamine mwono. Kazi ni sara mwono. Mungero wakaye na afika. Akami sara na ima. So azimai wae mbegeza panya na wanduwe na mwono. Hmm, abusa. Wakari kutachani mchechi wa sara weka mwono. Mwono vera nicha ya ichina sarisa Zakaria. <laughs> And Zakaria said unto the angel. Whereby shall I know this? Angel, whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. Ine na mkazi wanga tonse takota. Ona munga mwana za choke na goti. Pavu ine zinasira. Mkazi wanga mpavu zinasira. Asa choka kuti mwana. Now listen. Verse 19. And the angel answering said unto him, Kufusa chabe kwa meneo kukwa kuti, Visa chitika buwanji hivi because hile ni nakota. Ni problem ikuruma nini. Ukaona, if you have such a visitor, please do not question how possible is, can it be for me to have a son. Oh. Bika, au ya nasara alikone kwa uku, monga hafa aliko buwini. But now listen to what happened to Zakaria. Kupwela kwa John kwa mene kuchi. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel. Timu kumbuka Gabriel enje. Ndiya ujana figa kuli Maria. Nwame natin. Ama kwele na gudu nyuzi yo badogo wana. Now, anafiga kuli mwamuna. And to the tizi wakuti Zakaria na repliest. I am Gabriel. That is stand in the presence of God. And I'm sent to speak unto thee. And to show thee these glad tidings. Verse 20. And behold, thou shalt be dumb. And not able to speak. Until the day that these things shall be performed. Because thou believest not my words. Which shall be fulfilled in their season. Kufusa chabe muja ango. Anango fusa kwa. Mwe wa liliwa shukuru wa kote. Wa enda nakandodo. Eh, na mbuya wakota Theni mungeru wafika wawo watu zankara na mwana <laughs> Theni kufunza wako chabe kuti Shua ni kare na mwana wapano meeji Visa jitika buwaji Visa kwa nisika kwa mene Kukapa chabe kwa mene u A big problem Chokera lero Osa ati kuchokera lero Muno mwe wa sara uliweka mwe Uchoka panja hapa nishisuka mba Fikina mwana haka badwe Dei badwe mwana Ndiye pia usaka seguraka mwukama Zakaria na choka mchechi. Waya zimai wa embe keza panja. Anyamura na baibu so. Anchoka panja. Tineru kwe embe keza na abusa. Mae, papa, chapo ya zipe mwasari na soa. Zwati mzawa enzo na mtu ina. Paya pe mwasari na ponza abusa so. Wati ya pache Zakaria ni. Abusa nchani. Mwaya wa sign language. Siwa ziwa kutiko. Nani kwa pwena mungero. Abuza kamba kwa funza kuti visa chiti kabu anji mjira yote. Certain visitors, they carry a certain glory of God. When they are sent to deliver a message to you, these people come with a certain glory. And when they speak, they speak the mind of God. When they speak, they speak exactly what God has sent them to come and deliver. So our land hotel, Mbaba buwena ni mtendere ndi ponso wama kesura ingatisuna imidire buwena kwa chirunga. Amen. So uo na mtu kukwene duwa kwa wangeru. Banari kuleta utenga wabu nwa kubadwa kwa mwana. Mwana haka badwa. Mwana haka nipe kubadwa na instruction kudala. Mwana haka nipe kubadwa na zina kudala. Kulipe kushita debate. Husband and wife. Mwana haka nipe kubadwa na zina. Kwa nukuli wangati. 
a kwa tu kulivali four ma zina ya ribranch a awa benzi mfuita wa singa mte mwa na zina ya mfuiti a wai ya tete mte ya so mwa na ingati abadwa through the saint of God then you need to know that the name is given instructions on how to raise such a child is given everything is given so mwana akula iwe ukarangana ukarangana uona monga mabwiredwe yabana botere aba bana bashita represent chani nikubwera kwa Yesu Kristu kuzapuru Musa mutundu wa Israeli not mu bloodline but mutundu wa Israeli mu faith Ah, bobali na mazina au ole mbegwe mpukuro patulika kuti warodhe ufumwa kumwamba ndiye kudza kwa Yesu that's why muona na maburedu ya Yesu Gabriel anabwera kuzauza Maria Maria murungu akuchitira chifundo akwankara na fever pamanzo pa murungu uzankara ndi mwana mwana wa mwamuna iye uza cha zina Yesu Kristo then uyu abwera kudza prumusa vantu wache ndipo za chosa bonse bali mu unyoro kuti wankare bantu omasuritwa kama gaiti this was just a short sharing from me as your pastor pastor siwanda to give you at least a christocentric meal to feed the inner man kuti uzive kuti there are certain visitors that comes to bring a good tidings to bring the good news not aba ma angels yamene mu makumana nao muroda tina kumana na mungero parodi anaru kuposha ni chechi yose mkuti bwanji amen amen because the greeting the pastor said it is coming from the angel no not in this dispensation of time time has passed time has gone believe in the word we preach so that the day you leave this land of the living you will have at least stones to make your pillow as you rest in waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ nyara zifunika pampumulo wow this is good and this is beautiful i enjoy when i begin preaching the word of god because the word of god should be the integral part of your body when you don't speak it when you don't preach it when you don't listen to it you feel as if part of your body is missing lord we thank you for this wonderful weight that you have given to us today this morning and therefore we believe that through the help of the holy spirit we are growing gradually to understand jesus the one you sent according to the book of john chapter 17 verse 3 to know you the only true god and Jesus whom you sent therefore lord may your holy spirit continue teaching us enabling us to see and to understand to listen to be able to demystify these mysteries that are aligned in the word of life father i pray in the name of jesus christ amen